Uh, just tell us a little bit more about what has happened right now to Schellenberg in the immediate sort of present. Yes, well, this was uh, ordered at quite short notice, a review of the sentence for uh, Robert Lloyd Schellenberg, this Canadian uh, who'd been um, held in, in China and convicted of, of drug smuggling. Um, it happened in, on Monday in the northeastern city of Dalian. Now, he had been sentenced, as you've said, to 15 years in jail, and now he's got the death penalty. He's in his 30s. He was arrested originally back in 2014 and accused of being an accessory to smuggling more than 200 kilos of methamphetamine to Australia. It said that uh, this was hidden, uh, pellets were hidden in car tires. Now, he's always denied these accusations, says he was a tourist, not a drug smuggler. Now, what's unusual about this is that this review of his sentence was um, Western media were invited by the Chinese authorities to come and cover it. Um, and also, they broadcast an unusually long segment of this, uh, of this uh, hearing. Um, some five minutes or so. Now, it's said that the sentence now, the death penalty, has been imposed in similar cases before. Even so, there are questions that have been raised because it looks to outsiders like it was tit-for-tat action. Remember, in December, Canada arrested a senior executive of Huawei, uh, Meng uh, Wanzhou, and she was arrested and accused, uh, she faces extradition to the US, where she's accused of violating sanctions uh, on Iran. She denies wrongdoing. Uh, but since that case, uh, the relations between the two countries have uh, deteriorated. Incidentally, two other Canadians have been detained in China. Uh, now, following the sentence, this new sentence, Schellenberg's lawyer has confirmed that his client will appeal. Uh, and he's criticised the sentence, saying this hearing just lasted one day and the prosecution put forward no new evidence. What's the reaction uh, been to this? Well, uh, as you can imagine, it's been one of anger and shock. Um, Schellenberg's family uh, say their worst fears have been realised. Human Rights Watch has said you have to ask questions as to why this particular person of this particular nationality was retried at this particular time. Uh, and the Canadian Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, has also uh, reacted angrily. Let's have a listen to what uh, he's had to say. It is of extreme concern to us as a government, as it should be to all our international friends and allies, that China has chosen to begin to uh, arbitrarily apply uh, death penalty in cases uh, uh, facing, uh, as in this case, uh, facing a Canadian. Now, that sort of reaction in Canada and the West has in turn brought an angry reaction in China uh, with state media denying that they're putting pressure on Canada. Uh, but relations are pretty bad. Uh, over the Hmong case, um, China's ambassador to Canada accused the country of white supremacy. So some analysts see geopolitics here at play, but certainly what we can say for sure is that diplomatic relations look set to plunge further. Mm, absolutely.